you are neurodivergent, the single most important thing that you need to understand about your sleep is that neurodivergent people are documented to sleep differently. It's well documented in the literature. This is just one sample study that supports the fact that people with ADHD have delayed sleep phase disorder at higher rates than the general population. This is why you might be somebody who falls asleep at midnight and doesn't feel well rested, but if you go to sleep at 3 a.m. and you get up 11, you feel great. There's a theory called the sentinel hypothesis. This theory suggests that people slept in shifts and in cycles so that we could cover 24 hours of vigilance when we were living in tribes. What this means for you as a night owl is that you are biologically wired in order to do this. This isn't some flaw of your existence. This is literally your biology and we need to create a world where you can fit in instead of trying to fit you into a dysfunctional world that does not honor your specific gifts as a human being. There is other data to suggest that night owls experience what's called social jet lag. They have higher rates of preventable diseases, including diabetes, heart disease, etc. Good news is that there's a whole slew of jobs that you can do that will honor your circadian rhythm. Creative jobs, freelance jobs, working in things like tech, and of course medicine is a great job. There's tons of jobs within medicine that are shift work jobs. For example, you can be like a radiologist tech and make six figures. You don't have to necessarily go to medical school in order to be in a hospital environment and be working late. People who have these kinds of needs are actually really valuable assets to our team. Also shift work in things like emergency medicine. If you are interested in going into medicine and you need any support in this dimension, hit me up to my DMs because I mentor and coach people all the time about going to medical school as a neurodivergent person. I'm a physician. I made it through medical school, unmedicated ADHD, got a ton of testing accommodation. So I love to support people in navigating this really intense process through academia. Yeah. Follow along if you like learning more about your neurodivergent brain.